So here we have a Dyson DC23 vacuum cleaner, which uh, after about eight years of service suddenly stopped working. But the device is in a perfect order otherwise. So rather than buying a whole new vacuum cleaner, it's uh, the best option is really to replace the motor. Well, the motor sits in this cavity behind when you open this, uh, there's a filter here and there are four screws holding uh, this cover in place. Uh, they are taken out now and I explain all this when I put the whole thing together back, back together again. But that's where the motor is. It is held by four screws. But unfortunately, to get to those screws, you need to take apart the whole thing because those screws are actually screwed in from this side. So you have to remove the cable a roller as well, not just the cover. Now, as far as the replacement motor is concerned, the easiest thing is to buy what is called a motor and bucket assembly. Now that's uh, a genuine Dyson part and it comes with everything, even with the cable ready to fill through the hole there and you have very little to do with this before uh, you can put it inside the vacuum cleaner. As you can see, this is a genuine component, Dyson component. Now, it's, this is a bit of a shame because the bucket itself is not terribly complicated. It's uh, held together by a few screws. Uh, it goes round the motor like this and there's nothing wrong with the old one. It would work perfectly. And actually you can, you can buy what is called the motor itself uh, on from various spare parts. But uh, this is the bit that would miss from those motors. Now you can see that this is a kind of uh, cooling mechanism that's not part of the motor only. And because of this rather uh, strange fixing, this is not something that you can easily uh, replace at home. So uh, my advice is spend just £20 more and buy not just a motor but the entire motor and bucket assembly and uh, you will save uh, quite some time and worry for yourself for that 20 quid extra and also I'm not 100% sure that the replacement motors are genuine Dyson, spa Dyson parts but this indeed is. Now to Put this in place, uh, it's, uh, you can't uh, put it in the wrong place because uh, it's obvious that there's a little recess here at the top, so that, that's, that goes to the top. Also, this vent uh, vents through this hole on the casing, so that's uh, uh, not much of an issue which way you put this in. There's a little hole, as you can see there. You have to lead through the cables uh, through uh, that little hole, and then uh, at the end, push in this little uh, rubber sealant in the middle, which will be a bit tricky, because as you can see, this is not terribly long. Nearly there. Yeah, so the red one is longer than the black one, so make sure that all of the cables are getting out on the other side and there is the little rubber seal so once you have the motor in place uh, you can push that through from here it's easier if you try to do that before you actually fix the motor because once it's fixed you can't really get to the hole which hole could really be anywhere else uh, and give you a bit of more access but uh, 
it not being the case, you have to be able to move the motor a bit away, push in the seal or put it in, it's in place and now put the motor in place and you see it's, it's uh, fixed in there so hold it in and use the four screws to fix it in place. Now these screws go in and they need a Torx, a 10 Torx screwdriver. these holes on on the casing so that you can actually reach these screws it's very considerate to provide these so you don't have to struggle with a small screwdriver or by just doing it by hand so of the four screws in. And we have the last one just to put it through the hole and this is moved. So the motor is in place and now all we need to do is to put the whole thing back together again and as I said I will explain the dismantling at this stage because it's easier uh, to grasp that way. So here we are uh, with the motor in place and the two uh, pieces of the cable hanging out on the other side. Now uh, this cable will obviously need to go to and connect to the mains cable which is rolled up on this uh, spring powered roller which is luckily a single unit and you don't need to worry about it too much just make sure you have enough cable uh, taken off but use it against the spring because otherwise if you uh, if you just take it off uh, without loading the spring uh, then it won't uh, roll back again when you fix it now uh, so this is the cable unit and one cable goes to the main switch now that will be the black one and the red one will connect directly from uh, the motor to uh, the main uh, to the mains cable so you need to put this one the red one uh, on the other side of the roller this way and don't worry there's no uh, plastic insulators there so when you push it uh, this will clip on. Uh, now for dismantling you must remember that there is a little clip there uh, which you need to push in uh, to be able to pull it off so don't just try to pull it off uh, without pushing that little clip in. Now there's some holders for the cable here 
three of them, one, two, and the third one here, and then the cable runs through here next to the black one, and I just push it under these little clips here, and they will hold it in place. Uh, if everything is okay. So, yes, so they are here, and then you can maybe just lower this into its place because the black one uh, will go to this one, but we'll uh, need to worry about this later. Now, the important thing here. As you can see, there's a little clip here in the middle that holds this place, uh, this whole uh, cable roller in place. So you need to remember this because when you dismantle this, you will have to put in a small screwdriver and push this in before you can actually lift out this uh, uh, roller, the middle of the roller goes into this little uh, railing in the middle and then just lower it in place and it will clip into that clip as that I showed it's already in place and it, you cannot uh, just pull it out anymore it uh, is in place. Now the other cable, the black cable, goes into the switch unit and again uh, make sure that it is the outside of the clip that faces you not not this side but this one where you can when it comes to taking it off again for some reason you can actually pull that little push that little fixing clip and the clip showed that it's in place and now we need to fix that that will be part of Should be some space here for these because there's a little a hole for these cables to run through here and that will and also here which will make sure that they're not just moving around. Now this will be covered so the idea is that it, it will be fixed with a screw in a minute. This will be covered, so don't, don't need to worry too much about uh, those uh, cables. So there's plenty of space there uh, for them. And this whole switch is fixed with one of these screws that uh, actually used for all the other fixings. For some strange reason you need a T15 torque screwdriver bit for these, uh, unlike the screws that hold the motor in place. So this is a different size, again Torx type, and you just move it and fix the the switch in place. Now this could be a moment to actually test the new motor before you go further. Uh, just to try to turn it on uh, for a second and we'll do just this. So making sure that the cable 
words all the way. Of course, you mustn't touch any of the electrics here because this is not uh, covered and wouldn't be safe. So, there we are. So, unplugged again, very important. And again, we can here make sure that the cable spring works enough and brings it all back it will that's good so that was the, the switch was turned on then again making sure that there's nothing untowards here cable wise it's all fixed and making sure that Again, it's not, we're not damaging any of the cables uh, when we put back the cover. So that's something uh, you need to double check when you tidy these cables in here. So it's all in place. Uh, this was. It's in place and we can put the cover back on. Now you will see that the cover is held by uh, two, four, five screws that are easily accessible from the outside, but there are screws that are here there are two additional screws that are here and that's uh, a bit tricky again let's make sure again that it's, yes it's a bit good because to get to these screws you need to pry off the, this wheel and this wheel is held by this clip so it uh, can be very alarming and actually we as you can see we did some damage on the inside it wouldn't be visible so it shows that you need to use some force to pry this wheel off when you take the device apart so that you can get to these two uh, screws that hold it in place on the inside of the wheel and before you can actually place this back in place you have to clip the hose onto onto this because it just pulls like this so you need some space here and it will break in place so you do this uh, when it's going to be fitted once again check the cables the cables are okay and then we can place it on top of device and make sure that this goes here under this clips under the casing here and then fix so we put in the screws and tighten them through there this is Inside the others are self explanatory as we take the device apart. So it's all tight move in place as we tighten the screws. screws are going through here, 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 
and here. So this is what you see before you take the uh, device apart. So these are the screws that you need to take out to get the motor and then retightening them again. Once again, these are obvious ones because they are visible. The only tricky ones are these two which are behind this wheel. So once again you have to take the wheel off uh, to, to get to these and when you're done you can actually push it. in place so that's it turns this bit creeps in here so that it holds the hose in place now the remaining only remaining thing to do is to put in the HEPA filter around the motor it fits uh, on this side and then put this back in Fix it with the four screws. These are just Phillips screws, so nothing special here. Uh, put in the other filter, put this in place, and we are ready to go. So that's a DC23 having a new motor fitted. And that's it. Thank you for watching.